Welcome to the Missouri Business Podcast. The show is chock full of insight on what it's like to start, stop, and drive a thriving business in our great state. Each episode, we'll dive into the mind of a Show Me State business owner so you can avoid their mistakes and glean their expertise for your gain. Now, here's your host, John Piazza Norton. Hey everybody, John Piazza Norton here, the Main Street Business Mentor, back with the Missouri Business Podcast. I'm here with Matt Robertson. Matt, how are you? Great, John. Matt is with Clifton Larson Allen. You may not know where their location is, but we're going to get into that here in just a little bit. Tell the folks, um, let's talk about how we can get a hold of, of you guys. What's the best phone number for you? Sure. Our direct line is 816-232-8441. And is there an email that's best? Yes. Uh, you could just email me okay. if you'd like. Uh, my email address is Matthew, M-A-T-T-H-E-W, okay. dot Robertson, R O B. E R T S O N, and that is at C L A. Uh -huh. It's Charlie Larry Alpha Connect.com. Perfect. Uh, and so those are the two best ways? Yes, I would say so. Uh, you know, our receptionist is there to take any calls, and then usually if there's a question um, that you might have accounting related, you could go to our website, okay. which is like. Uh, CliftonLarsonAllen.com. Okay. And if you just had a general question, you can ask it there. It asks for your information, like what city, that sort of thing. Right. And then someone from national will get a hold of us. Okay. But probably the quicker route is to just call our main office number. Gotcha. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go through where they're located, what they're looking for. I'm going to give Matt three wishes. Uh, and let's jump right into it. Great. Because I always give people three wishes. And the first wish is normally, what do you wish somebody would know about right. you? Yeah, I saw that question. Before, um, before they come in, what would you say for you guys? Well, I think what you bring up is a, is a good challenge. And I think the larger the accounting firm that there is, I think there is uh, the ability to have more confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, every client is assigned uh, a principal or a signing director, someone in that capacity okay. that oversees the engagement. Gotcha. That person doesn't necessarily work on that client on a daily basis. Sure. Um, you essentially have people that their job is to maybe input a tax return or to complete an audit section gotcha. or something like that. In addition, depending on the service, mm. especially with a larger firm, you'll have a person who might specialize in, like I said, outsourcing. Right. They might specialize in tax, um, or they might they might specialize in audit. They might specialize in a specific industry. Okay. The one thing that I've noticed is, and it takes a client to get used to, is that there might be more than one person to talk to. That takes them a while to get comfortable with that. Right. And. Uh, what I'd like for them to realize is that that is actually a good thing. Sure it is. Is that the people, the reason that they're talking to more than one person is because it gives that, it gives that client the benefit of having people that are specialized in a particular industry. Sure. So the second wish is, let's talk about the location itself. What's the address downtown? 8th and Felix, 801 Felix. And it's kind of really the whole, yeah, you know, most, go around the corner too. Right. Um, the Clifton Larson Allen is a member of the Commerce Connection Quest this month. And I put, for July, I put it on one window. We're going to switch it around to the side this next month. Um, but definitely stop by, take a picture, post it to their Facebook page and uh, enter to win the trip. It's not that hard, but it is work. Um, but that location, let's talk about, if you could change something, what do you wish you could change about that location for you guys? I would like for there to be uh, it fully um, occupied. Ah. So uh, Mosaic um, and the city of St. Joseph 
developed a plan where they were going to build a parking garage. Yep. And then they would have outbuildings that surrounded that parking garage. Makes a lot of sense. It does. It makes the parking garage look a lot better. Yeah. You know? And um, currently we're the only tenant. Yes. Um, so across the street from us is Trail. Right. Which is unoccupied. Yes. And so unless people are coming to CLA for a meeting or pick something up, there's yeah. there's really nobody on that street. Yep. Um, for that whole block. Yeah. And so if they could, if those tenants, let's say there was a restaurant, I think originally they thought maybe they wanted a restaurant in there. Yeah. And then I think um, on the larger facility, they wanted a grocery store or something oh. of that nature. That's what they, that's originally what they wanted to have. Sure. You would definitely have a lot more people that would actually see your business or actually notice your business. Well, sure. Still have a lot of clients that are coming in saying, like, I, I didn't know you guys were here. or I, I, um, I didn't even realize that um, there was anyone here yet, that sort of thing. So um, in the long run, I think we'll benefit from those two other addresses being knocked. So the third wish. I will leave up to you. What do you wish about one wish for your business? Take care of all the things that are going wrong or, or things you want to, issues you want to fix. What is a wish that you would, the number one wish you would have? I think that if I had one wish, I think is that we're always talked about as being the trusted advisor for clients, right? Okay. But if I don't, I don't look at us, at us yet as somebody who is the first person that a client calls with regards to any business decision that they need to make. Um, you know, I, I think I think in some capacities bankers might be there. Right. Um, but that's the ultimate goal. Sure. Um, we have so many services that we can offer to clients, but. Mm -hmm. But the largest amount of clients that we have use us for one service. Sure. So um, if we could become that trusted business advisor yeah. to our clients, um, that, would, that would benefit us. It benefit us, but I think it would also benefit the client. Sure. I think there are a lot of businesses out there, and I know there's a lot of CFOs out there, that really want to be accountants, not necessarily CFOs. Yeah. And so, um, you know, technology has made it that uh, we can do a lot of the services a CFO can do. I mean, that's one of the services we offer is an outsourced CFO. Sure. Um, How much money will they save on benefits? Whole right. cow. And then on top of it, <laughs> and then on top of it, that they could use that person that might be having to fill out property tax forms or something of that nature um, to work on some special projects or something yes. of that nature. Things that could bring in a lot more than spending time doing something that they may not even be very good at. Correct. That they have to Google. <laughs> yes. So yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Well, I appreciate you letting us invade your space. Yeah. His, his work. <laughs> yeah, my new work office. In dining room. With my, with my dogs as my co-workers. <laughs> well, a couple of them weren't very happy that I was here, but that's okay. Um, this is Matt Robertson, uh, Clifton Larson Allen. Uh, they have a place downtown. Definitely check them out when they're back. Otherwise, just give them a call. It gets routed to him. Uh, if you have any questions, like you said, th th sit down with them. Figure it out. See what you need to do. Uh, again, appreciate your time. Yeah, my name is John Piazza Norton with the Missouri Business Podcast, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Missouri Business Podcast. Make sure to visit our website, MissouriBusinessPodcast.com, where you can subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, or Stitcher, so you get the ding when the next one is out. And if you have a question to pose on the show, just shoot us a comment on the website or like the John Piazza Norton Facebook fan page for direct access. Be sure to tune in next time when we squeeze the brain of another business leader for your benefit. Talk is cheap. I'm from Missouri. You have got to show me. See you next time.